Good morning guys, welcome back to another video, another day in Berlin. It's around, what, about 8.30 now? I don't know. About 8.30 a.m. Had another early start. We're actually, uh, well that building behind me, if you can see it, is the topography of Terra. I think I said that right. Um, but it didn't actually open until 10 a.m. So we're going to find something else to do in the meantime. But that wall right there, that's actually the Berlin Wall, or what's left of it, so that's pretty cool to see. I'll just show you it real quick. It's actually pretty amazing how, like, so much of it is still intact. Obviously, it's got holes in it, and it's got, the, you know, the, um, the steel supports in the concrete exposed and whatever else, but how like good condition that's. I don't know if that's like the actual location that it was or if they've moved it. I assume they haven't moved it because that'd be a pretty big job. I assume they obviously did actually go down there and, and obviously you know all the way along and throughout the whole of Berlin. But it's pretty amazing because obviously that building would have been there because that's an old building and that bit of building would have been there so because that's an old building so obviously like they would have been able to see across the wall and it's you know only like a narrow little um gap in between the walls only got holes in because they keep digging it out to put it in the tourist shops <laughs> <laughs> that's what they keep doing with well, it fun fact when we was in the um checkpoint charlie uh, shop they were selling literally chunks of the wall for like hundreds of pounds like it was literally just 400 and odd pounds for, well for, 400 oh, euro yeah. 460 euros for like a little chunk of concrete i mean it's pretty cool but i don't think you know it's pretty cool to have like a piece of history i suppose but it's just a piece of concrete it's like anyone could just say oh you just got that out of your garden it's like you know what i mean it's not really you know, you can't prove anything. It, it could have just been a piece, random piece of concrete that someone's just spray painted over. Well, they had, they had them in that. They had them in that tiny little one we went near the Reichstag yesterday. They had them in that they? tiny little one. Uh, just, just for like little a little chip. So yeah. Like. All right, so we're probably going to find because we have our breakfast on. We're probably going to find a Starbucks, or we'll check the list and see if there's anything else open this early. But see, this is what happens when you make early starts. Nothing's open. I usually stay in bed till 12. No, we don't really. Right. Yeah, we let's do. go. Let's go and get some breakfast anyway. Okay then, so just got done in the topography of Terrace. 
and um, a rear light opener. Uh, it's basically all about like the um, secret state, the police, the Gestapo. I'm pretty sure that building there that I mentioned earlier was actually the secret state police building, like the main headquarters. So I don't know if, um, you know, I don't know if that's any any um, reason why the wall was built here or whatever, but yeah, it's definitely was used a whole lot back in the day. It's obviously not a police building now, but yeah, it's a very old building, let's just say that. I'm gonna go check out the wall and I get real close to it and maybe try and grab a bit of it to sell on eBay as well. That's a joke. Okay, so I think part of the um, old Gestapo headquarters was actually blown up, but I'm guessing, obviously don't quote me on this, but I'm guessing that is what's left of it. And like I said, yeah, it's still used today, but obviously not as a Gestapo headquarters, obviously. But yeah, we're just gonna walk along the rest of this wall, and then we're gonna like go down some steps and then see what's down here. If you're wondering what these are by the way, I assume they're like solar panels. They, there'd be no reason just to have these like huge, you know, painted glass. So I'm, I'm guessing that they're solar panels. Any thoughts? You, you look tired. You know? I am tired. She's, I am she's tired. tired. Right, let's do the length of the wall and then let's go down there. Okay, so basically down here, these walls, these ruins are, as, a, as it just said in that little um, scripture, was um, the uh, basement walls of uh, a concentration camp which was once here. So. Yeah, I mean, I assume the concentration camp was knocked down after the war, but yeah, the, these ruins are still here, so that's what these are. Okay, then, so where we are now, well, we're actually just in a car park, but this is where the Führer's bunker was so Hitler's bunker was actually like on this ground there's actually like just an apartment block built on top of it um, there's no like there's no like you know um, remains or you know anything that would really indicate to you that there was actually a bunker here apart from just that sign that I just shown you um, which is just to say that to tourists like you know this is where it was um, but I assume the underground it's still probably probably you know pretty intact uh, I assume there's still you know rooms underground but obviously they've just built up you know built on top of it because I'm guessing that they didn't really want to sort of make it a tourist attraction and sort of draw to the attention of it they all kind of wanted the guy to be forgotten sort of thing so yeah that is what it is but it's um you know it's pretty cool to come here and say you've stood on top of Hitler's bunker I guess but yeah nothing really left of it now that you can see anyway
Where are we now? Story Bunker. Berlin Story Bunker. Okay, then, so right now we're just at the Berlin Story Bunker. About to go inside. I'm pretty sure you have to pay to go in. But yeah, here it goes. There's a bomb. Let there be light. Okay then, so just got done in the bunker. I think we was in there for like one or two hours. Um, you're not allowed to film, like take photos or video or anything in there. I'm guessing, it, they said it's because of copyright reasons, but I'm guessing it's because you have to pay and they don't want like someone posting like a whole tour of the thing on um, like YouTube. So obviously then people wouldn't pay to go in there just be like, oh, well that's what's in there, so I'm not gonna pay. Um, so yeah, obviously I didn't get like any footage inside, but yeah, it is what it is. But yeah, it was good. Um, you know, it's an interesting place. It was basically, went through like the whole of the Second World War and um, focused a lot on like the uh, the SS, the state uh, secret state police, and um, then like Hitler's bunker, and then like going through all the different stages of the war, like the falling of Berlin, and then it showed a lot of that. Then it went into like the Cold War and the Berlin Wall and all the rest of it. So it's very interesting, you know. Like it takes takes a lot of energy out of you like walking around and reading everything but yeah very very interesting and definitely an eye-opener like I would recommend going there I think we pay like 13.50 um, to go in like the two different sections of the bunker so yeah definitely worth going in and Danielle's found a cat is that big for a cat then? for my lad got a dodgy leg and a dodgy eye oh dear don't stroke it in case it bites you Oh baby! Like a dog, ain't it? That's a tuna, I would give it to you. Come on then. Isn't it a big cat? Mm. Same again, lad. Same again. <sighs> okay then, so we're back at the hotel now. I've actually um, packed what I can for tomorrow, flying back home tomorrow uh, afternoon. So that's everything there in the bag. All that, I'm pretty much wearing that, minus the bra, that's obviously the girlfriend. Um, probably wear that shirt as well tomorrow. And I'm just taking these empty bottles to the gym because there's a water machine down there so instead of just like buying bottles of water out Mars, I'll just make use of the facilities here at the gym and then we're going to have like a little nap aren't we because we're right, like I'm it off with the water. why not it's just just easier as well it saves us going to the shop hey, you've left something on in there I think you've done that thing in the toilet you always do at mine you know when you're flushing it's literally just morning. flushing no it's not you need to flush it again done all right so yeah so we're going to do that and then we're going to have a nap because i think we'll be staying up fairly late tonight i think but we're going out we'll have a few drinks aren't we and we'll see anyway right let's go fill this up with water okie dokie that's not even probably okie dokie then so we are awakened from a nap and we're actually going to 
try and make our way to the roof of this building because there is a bar on the top. We're gonna to find out whether it's open or not. If it's not, we're gonna come back to the room and then um, see what's on the plan. But yeah, I'm just gonna check it out. Adam six. And then we're looking for a kiss you, so you'll probably send you some pics. And I'm like, mm -hmm. She likes the red game. I bought a shepherd. It's not going to work, is it? You mean it's not going to be open? Because the mine at the hotel was like, I don't know what's going on with them. I thought he was like, I don't know what's going on. Not soon enough to find out. It looks very dark up here, doesn't it? Alright then guys, so just went out. We're back. But we just went to the shop and um, went to a supermarket called e Deca, which is actually like five, ten minute walk away. And it was absolutely amazing. They're a huge supermarket. Very, very cheap. So just got a couple of drinks. We got Pepsi Max. Hard stuff. Hard stuff. And somewhere in this little uh, bag of goodies, we have some. Jägermeister. Have a guess how much this was. So in the UK, it's usually between 15 and 20 pounds for a big bottle. Um, this was like 11 euros 80, so about 11 pound for this huge bottle. 28 shots for about 11 pound, can't complain. Just going down like, go, 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 go. no, I'm just That's kidding. how you actually drink it though. Go, 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 go. All right, let's do it. Um, all right, guys. So, uh, hmm, what are we gonna say? Going out. Yeah. So we're going out. Just I don't really have that much. There's only like how much gone. So it's probably about I don't know, eighteen shots left, maybe. So I haven't really had that much, but I only drink like once a year, so it possibly hit me a little bit more, but probably gonna make like a drink to take out with us. Just no, because no. whatever's left of that Jaeger, we're just gonna leave here, aren't we? Well, obviously we've got hand luggage. Yeah, so just gonna do that. Hey, you can see me in the mirror, that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go out like in a minute. I'm probably gonna be at the German market for like half an hour, and then maybe go in like a bar or something, I don't know, but we'll see what happens. Just hope I don't lose this camera. If I do, and somebody finds this footage, then just email me George Osters. Wait, George Osterberry at gmail.com. My YouTube is George Osters. G E O R G E A U S T E R S. Okay, so get this. Girlfriend buys. Okay, so get this. Girlfriend needs one straw for her drink. Buys a pack of a hundred. Not sure if. All right, so um, we're heading into the German market now, like 10 minutes before it closes, so <laughs> we'll see what happens. You're not? I am next to find No. Okay, so we made it in. That behind me is Charlottesburg Palace, I believe. Um, I want to try and get like a hot oh, oh there's some over there you can see it over there I think let's get one okay so we went to the German market the Christmas market um, they didn't accept card we wanted to buy a hot dog a sausage in a roll thing and um, they, they don't accept your cash so we asked where the nearest cash point was Cash point there, I only accepted like MasterCard and not Visa. So we asked like these police, they said it's 400 meters down the road. We walked 400 meters, then we asked this guy in the shop, said another 200 meters. But the girlfriend couldn't be bothered to walk another 200 meters and says, Oh, it's race of time now, we closed, so 
Apparently we're just going to get the bus and then go back to the hotel. So, we came all the way out here and then she just wants to go back. So, yeah, that's our night. Isn't it? Okay, so we made it back to the hotel. And, um... Just got... Just got a healthy Domino's. Pizza. And... One of these. Health. Alright then guys, so... For whatever reason, didn't end this video um, last night. Obviously, it's the morning after now. Uh, yeah, ate the Domino's, watched some Prison Break, and went to sleep. And then this video here. Please give it a like, leave a comment down below, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you. I'll actually see you in today's video. So, yeah. Peace!